When I was 16, I asked a neurologist, how is it possible that our brain makes our body sick? And why it would do so? Current research showed that these so-called psychosomatic health complaints cover at least 75% of all known diseases. The neurologist looked at me very seriously and he said, we will never know. Our brain is far too complex for us to understand. I don't know how you would feel about an inhibiting belief system like this, but for me, even as a 16-year-old, that was unacceptable nonsense. That's why, alongside my holistic health practice, I did extensive research for these last 30 years in order to discover the root cause of psychosomatic health problems. I was looking for the answer to the question, why and how does our brain make our body sick? Why would my brain do that? It felt so illogical to me. You could almost say, has my brain lost its mind? After 20 years of research, including various failures and disappointments, I discovered through a fortunate combination of circumstances the correct approach. That finally led me to a more and more complete insight into how and why our brain makes its own body ill by creating psychosomatic diseases. It turned out that this discovery resulted in a number of other remarkable discoveries. From the start, I realized that if the insight I gained could not offer me any solution to cure the causes of psychosomatic diseases, they would be of very little use to me. So my next step was to use these insights to develop a method that could cure or remove the root cause of psychosomatic health complaints. After another five years of additional research, an effective technique was born and I called it Progressive Mental Alignment, or abbreviated to PMA. During this research, I also discovered something else of great value. It turns out that our thought patterns, our decisions, actions and behavior are basically determined by exactly the same mechanism as the one that causes psychosomatic diseases. Our thought patterns, decisions and actions are the driving force of our behavior, which in turn determines the quality of our relationships and success in life. The PMA technique showed that everything could be traced back to how our subconscious mind encodes sensory data. So, how it assigns a specific code to everything you see, hear, smell and taste and feel. It became clear that it's even more important what happens in our brain when we are placed under high emotional pressure and how this pressure can cause us something to go terribly wrong with the coding process. If that happens, it results in a kind of neurophysiological short-circuiting in our brain. I call these short circuits bad clusters. It turns out we all have bad clusters. Not only are they the cause of psychosomatic illnesses, they also have an unprecedented negative influence on our belief systems, thought patterns and behavior. In one of my next video presentations, I will explain what bad clusters are and what significant harm they can cause to our health, behavior and success. The application of PMA technique has repeatedly confirmed that psychosomatic illnesses, negative belief systems and harmful behavior originate from exactly the same subconscious root cause. In the book Desirable Power, I will explain exactly how these processes work and how you can transform these negative subconscious forces into positive, inspiring energy for yourself as well as for others. I am looking forward to see you on my next video presentation.